Hello, my name is Scott and I'm with Blue Loop Media and I just want to show you some basic JavaScript programming and the first thing that I want to talk to you about is the JavaScript tag and what the JavaScript tag does or the or the the uh, the tag script it actually communicates with the with a thing called a JavaScript engine which is built into almost every modern day browser like IE Firefox, Safari, and what it does is it allows you to to communicate and run commands and do all this really cool programming with this part of your browser that's just sitting there waiting for for commands whenever it sees a script tag. So the the way that you the way that you use a script tag is it's just like a regular HTML tag. It's called script and then you specify an attribute called type and you set the the type to text JavaScript so I'm using Dreamweaver here so that's why you're seeing the uh, all of the text filling in automatically that's one of the benefits of, of using JavaScript which I highly recommend you can actually do this in, in a text editor like notepad or text edit if you're on a Mac and, and so you don't really need a, 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 a dream mover to do this so so what I did here is I just put in a script tag so it's script and then you have this attribute inside the script tag just like a regular attribute that you would have inside of its inside of a script tag where it's where it's you specify type and then equals and then it's text slash JavaScript and what that does that tells the JavaScript that tells the script engine that this script is, is JavaScript and then anything that you put in, inside these brackets here is going to actually execute any kind of JavaScript that you write in there so you can actually put this tag in the in the head part of your document or you can put this script in your body tag also. So I'm just going to put in here text slash JavaScript. And then close off the tag here. Now you don't you you can actually have this in the head tag and also you can have it in the body tag and what the difference is is that the, that the, the head tag in an HTML document actually runs before it starts displaying anything inside the web browser like any text or anything you have inside your web browser that you're going to show people so what that means is like any code that you write inside here is going to run first before it starts displaying stuff because some sometimes when you write a program you want you want things to happen before you are actually displaying or seeing anything on the screen just so that it's it's ready before before the the page loads up basically so so let's just do a a, a basic command here like I'll just do a, an alert hello and now I'm doing this inside the body tag so And then I'm going to save it off. Let's go over to Firefox. And let's open it. File open. And then I just I just call it JavaScript.html. And then there you go. It, it runs hello. So this is like the, the main core of, of JavaScript and and how to get started um, now there's another way that you can you can write JavaScript you know you can you can have the opening and closing tags and write your JavaScript inside there or you can actually run JavaScript by having it in an external file and the way you do that is you do script and then the same thing type then you specify that it's going to be text JavaScript and then you specify another attribute to the tag called SCR, which is short for source. 
and then you type in a file name like let's just say file.js I don't actually have this file but I'm just showing it showing it as a as an example here so what you would do is you would actually you could actually create a separate file that would just have JavaScript content inside of it and you could call it file.js so let me let me make a file really quick and I'll and I'll show you that so we have this we have this script down here in the body tag already that says hello. So I'm going to go up here file new, and then in Dreamweaver here you can actually specify that you're going to do a JavaScript, but it doesn't really make any difference. I mean you can use a text editor like I said before because I think all really that that Dreamweaver does is it just shows this little comment in there, but all it is is a regular text file. So I'll do the same thing. Hello. From file, so it's just, it's it's just a regular file. Save it off as the name that I specified in thing file.js. Hit save. So I'm going to go back over here to my to my other HTML file that I that I created here. I'm going to save it. Let's go over to Firefox and let's run it. There you go. So now you see hello from file. Hit OK. And then hello. So we actually have two JavaScript functions going on at the same time. So this one is actually in the head. It, well, we have this. We have this this empty script here, which isn't doing anything. But then I have this other script here, which is running the external file file.js, and it and it displays the hello message. And then we have this other script down at the bottom, which shows hello. So that's that's the basics of of how to get into JavaScript or 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 start programming in it. Um, so this is just the beginning of the series of uh, JavaScript lessons that I'm that I'm going to be showing here on a weekly basis. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you want to subscribe, because this is going to be a new series, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you.